Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a 2010 model year, limited edition of 75 pieces. This one was sold in 2018. It is the Blancpain Villeray. Huit jour or eight day manuel. It is a watch with grand faux enamel dial, platinum case, and the extraordinary eight day power reserve 13 RO movement. It's a large dress watch at 42 millimeters in diameter, 11.4 millimeters thick, but relatively constrained at just 47.6 millimeters from lug to lug across the wrist, with a 23 millimeter spacing nice and broad, well stanced and modern when you wear it. And you can see that it does have a short lug-to-lug -lug dimension for a 42 millimeter case. And there's no doubt here that the lugs come nowhere near the edge of my wrist. You can really see that in the down the barrel shot. It's not as obvious from over the top, but this has always been a deceptive angle that makes the watch look wider than it is. In terms of cuffability, we've got a watch that's 11.4 millimeters with a nicely sloped double gadroon bezel. It'll slide easily under a dress cuff. The strap is high grade, medium rectangular scale alligator leather. You can see matte finish, black. We have a monotone stitch, a sheer cut side showing the layers of leather, calfskin on the bottom, Blancpain factory strap, and then we have a leaf spring double folding clasp, and this is probably the mechanism built by GNF Chatelain. They make this leaf spring double deployment for a lot of others, including MBNF and Richard Meal. It is a very well-known high-end component and one of the best because although it's not a locking clasp, the leaf spring action positively snaps the sides closed as you draw them down and then provides an assist once you pull point and initiate the snap. You can also see that unlike a lot of clasps on platinum watches from other brands, Blancpain gives you a platinum clasp on a platinum watch, and you can see that it has a properly branded buckle. Snap that shut, doing what it does best. Take a look at the case. You can see there's a super sharp break between the lug and the case, and this is indicative of a welded lug construction. And so what will happen is the lug is inserted into a slot in the case. They're welded together, and then by hand, evidence of the gathered weld material is removed to create these super sharp breaks. We have this lovely compound curvature to the case. It's rounded. It's polished. The lugs have a little bit of a dished inward inflection, double gadroon or double domed bezel. We have a Blancpain branded crown. You can see it's very narrow in vintage fashion. And then on the dial side, Grand Faux enamel dial. So on a solid gold dial base, we have a vitreous series of layers that is a glass-based paint laid on a solid gold base, fired up to 20 times at 800 degrees centigrade to create this porcelain-like look. And so it is basically fired glass and it's great because this is how old pocket watches tended to be made. Today, it's a very expensive artisanal craft with low levels of production due to the high rejection rate as the glass can easily pop, fracture, or even explode in the oven. So it's slow going and very few enamel dials are used. Oftentimes when you see a glossy porcelain-like effect, it's just lacquer, but this is the good stuff. Glass on top of gold slow going and worth the wait. You can see a special font was created for these Roman numerals, though they are radially arrayed in classical fortune. Uh, you can see we have a watchmaker's four down at four o'clock, skeletonized leaf hands, white gold hands, and we have a JB Blancpain branded counterweight to the slightly curved second hand. There's a power reserve indicator at the top. Because the power reserve scale has its plus and minus below the actual index, and the logo of the brand is down below the hands, some people have said this looks like an inverted dial and does have a little bit of that effect. It's a practical watch with a power reserve. And then we also have a stop seconds function. So you can set the watch to the second against a reference time. And we have a quick set for the date so you can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. And they used a wonderful serifi font there. Turn it all over, we have the caliber 13R0. This is the basis for all Blancpain eight day and five day automatics. So the eight days are the manual wind. And then the automatic based on this is seen in the 50 fathoms. Uh, that's a five day with three barrels on both. You get a long power reserve, but also a very even torque release. It doesn't gallop and gain time 
time when it's fully wound, nor does it start losing time as it discharges. That's the advantage of having three barrels in series. And whereas the automatic has the five days, the manual wind is the full fat eight days, which we have here. You can appreciate that it's beautifully made with lovely mirrored bevels, a combination of manual and machine finishing. The result is mirrored rounded and incredibly competitive with the likes of Patek, Vacheron, and Langa. It's of that ilk. A lovely combination of solarization on the barrels and ratchet wheels. You can see these ratchet wheels and barrels solarized, and then conventional satination on train wheels. Each of the train jewel sinks, as well as the barrel arbor sinks, has been gold-plated to create the look of a vintage golden chaton cup. Screw heads are black polished, slotted, and their circumference chamfered. And then we've got a free-sprung balance that beats away at four hertz with a lovely overcoil hairspring. The free-sprung architecture means that the five-position adjustment, which is chronometer style, is going to take and hold. It's easier to precisely adjust a free-sprung system, and it's more shock tolerant, so the timing can't change due to shock. You also appreciate the presence of an overcoil because it means in any position, your hairspring's going to breathe concentrically, which improves timing in different positions. All this is water-resistant down to 30 meters. It's a beautiful and broad movement, properly suited to a large dress watch, which is what we have here. And it's very durable. Mark Hayek, who for a long time was the Hayek family member running Blancpain, said that he went mountain biking wearing prototypes of this movement and it only gained a second a day throughout all that concussion, which is deeply impressive and nearly impossible on a high horology dress watch caliber. This watch exceeds expectations in almost every respect, and Blancpain represents great value in the high horology dress watch space. It's true, they're more than the 50 fathoms. Swatch, you should have created a plastic version of this. The world needs to know. Until then, it's a best kept secret. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for pricing.